Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of capillaries. You should then be able to describe how capillaries are adapted for the diffusion of molecules. In the last video we looked at the structure of arteries and arterioles. Remember that arteries are thick walled blood vessels which carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the body tissues. Arteries branch into a large number of smaller blood vessels called arterioles. Arterioles carry the blood to capillaries in organs and other body tissues. So in this video we're looking at the structure and function of capillaries. We find extensive networks of capillaries in every tissue and organ. As you can see capillaries are extensively branched and no body cell is very far from a capillary. A network of capillaries like this is called a capillary bed. The capillary beds are where substances are exchanged between the blood and the body cells. For example oxygen and glucose diffuse from the blood to the body cells, while waste products such as carbon dioxide diffuse from the cells back to the blood. And the extensive branching of capillaries provides a massive surface area for the exchange of materials. Now the structure of capillaries has evolved to maximise the rate of diffusion of molecules such as oxygen. I'm showing you here a close-up of a capillary and the surrounding body cells. Unlike other blood vessels, capillaries have an extremely thin wall. In fact, the wall of capillaries consists of a single layer of endothelial cells. On the outside, there's a thin membrane called the basement membrane. Now because the capillary wall consists of a single layer of cells, this means that there's a very short diffusion distance between the blood and the cells near the capillary. And this short distance increases the rate of diffusion of molecules between the blood and the cells, for example oxygen and carbon dioxide. The diameter of the capillary lumen is only slightly greater than the diameter of a red blood cell. This means that when red blood cells pass through capillaries, they're pressed against the capillary wall. And again, this reduces the distance for the diffusion of oxygen from the red blood cells to the tissue cells. Now because the lumen of capillaries is only slightly wider than a red blood cell, this means that red blood cells travel through capillaries in single file. And because of this, red blood cells move through capillaries more slowly than in arteries and arterioles. And this relatively slow movement increases the time available for molecules to diffuse in and out of the blood. Ok, now there is one final adaptation of capillaries. If we look closely at the capillary wall, we can see small gaps between the endothelial cells. These gaps allow fluid to pass out of the blood. Scientists call this tissue fluid. Tissue fluid bathes the cells, providing essential molecules such as glucose and amino acids. And we'll be looking at how tissue fluid is formed in a later video. The gaps in the capillary wall also allow white blood cells to leave the bloodstream and we'll be looking at that in the topic on immunity. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the structure of capillaries and how they're adapted for the diffusion of molecules.